the Line 6 Uber Metal. You know, reading online, there's a lot of people that absolutely hate this thing, uh, much like the Metal Zone. But I actually think it's kind of cool, and it's actually got some weird stuff going on uh, that I'll get into later. But first, here's what it sounds like in a mix. can't tell already this thing sounds sort of metal zony good for thrash and old school kind of metal stuff as such it sounds like absolute balls when you try and plug it into the front of your amp just remember to always plug metal distortion pedals directly into the return of your effects loop not the front of the amp now onto the pedal itself uh, it's not quite what it seems it's not really a pedal as much as it is a platform see these modules on the front are actually swappable with a bunch of different modules. Uh, it's, it was called the Line 6 Tone Core series. To change modules, you can remove two Allen screws on the top of the unit and depress a switch on top with a screwdriver to remove the module. So it's more of a modular platform than a single guitar pedal. Oddly enough, most people don't even know this as a pedal or any of the modules are rarely found by themselves in the wild. Still good to know if you find one of these modules lying around Goodwill or something. As for the design of the Uber Metal, it's pretty standard metal distortion pedal fare with a few added features. There are three amp models as you saw in the onset of this video which are Metal, Pulverize, and Insane. If you're familiar with any of Line 6's early amps, this was pretty much their signature thing uh, for better or worse. There's also a two-stage noise gate which is pretty aggressive and works well but kind of sucks your tone out a bit. The most impressive thing about this thing is probably the build quality. 
you know, a lot of people throw around the, uh, you know, built like a tank thing, but th this thing literally, like, it is a tank, man. Like, Sabaton could perform a concert on top of this thing, and nobody would notice. <clears throat> the hinge for the battery compartment is silky smooth. I love how that works. It's such a satisfying mechanism to just click. It's, it's pretty cool. The pedal weighs in at over two pounds, compared to the Boss Metal Zone that only weighs about 14 ounces. Everything about this thing feels like it's overkill in terms of build. So what are the cons? Uh, should you go to the effort to track one of these down? So like I said before, the overall tone options here are pretty close to the metal zone. One thing that this pedal clearly uses is some form of digital modeling, which shows when you play it. Uh, it has sort of a weird, unnatural feeling at lower gain levels, like most uh, early digital gear like this does. It's almost like input latency. It's just kind of odd. You can get used to it, but it's definitely weird when comparing to the metal zone or just playing through the gain channel on my amp. When using the noise gate, uh, it's even more noticeable. Everything aside though, it's a neat little pedal and averages for about 30 or $50 on the used market. If you like the sound and additional features like the noise gate, it might be a good choice. If you don't want a noise gate, I would just buy a metal zone for the same price on the used market in all honesty. All right, well, that does it for my review today. As always, like and sub if you aren't, poop every day, stay hydrated, and check out my other videos.